right, I think we're ready. Let me let me push this background light here. Where is it? That might have helped a little bit. <clears throat> Okay, Al, you told me your name, Alan Lee Chapman, and your birth date is February the uh, 20th? What, February? What? 1950. 1950, okay. And I uh, always like to get a little timeline here, a genealogical line. Uh, what were your parents' names? Uh, Charlotte Newman. Okay, your mother. And uh, that was my mother, my father's name was Forrest Chapman. Forrest Chapman, okay. Do you know their parents' names? Yeah. Forrest. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Hannah Meeks okay. and Clarence Chapman. Okay. Um, how far back can you go? You couldn't go to great grandparents. <sighs> no, I can't. Is that written down anywhere? Yeah, I th they're from, the Meeks were from Ironton, Ohio. Okay. Rose County. Has anybody done a, done a study, like a family member, done your family tree or anything like no. that? No. I'd like, I'd like to do something, I guess. Now, what were your mother's parents' names? Isabel Allen and John Allen. Were they from Ironton? No, they were from Oakland. Okay. Um, we, in fact, we're in my office here in Portsmouth, Ohio, and uh, Tell me now, you have children, don't you? Yes. Okay. And what are their names? Colleen. Colleen Chapman. Mm -hmm. She's about 26. Okay. And Jennifer Lee, which is uh, 23. Okay. Do they have children? No. Okay. So you're not grandpa yet? Not yet. <laughs> and uh, you're married? Yes. Okay. What is your wife's name? Sheila Ann Chapman. Okay. What was her maiden name? You know? Thompson. Now, um, where were you born? I was born in Portsmouth, Ohio. Okay. What is your present address? 2708 Dogwood Ridge mm -hmm. in Wheelersburg, Ohio. Okay. And what is your occupation? You're retired? I'm retired from the state of Ohio. What did you do with the state of Ohio? Uh, worked for the Department of Corrections. Which is like the prison system. Yes. The prison system. Mm -hmm. And your last place of employment was out here at Lucasville? Southern Ohio Correctional Facility. Okay. What did you do in, in your capacity there as, as working for the state prison system? I was there 30 years. I started in February 12, 1973. I started out as a correctional officer. I was a correctional officer for seven and a half years. And I got promoted to sergeant for three and a half. I went to college and became a social worker. And then from social worker, we reverted or reverted into unit management, so I became a case manager. Mm -hmm. From a case manager, I became a unit manager, a unit manager to a unit manager administrator. Okay. Now, uh, so where did you graduate from high school? Portsmouth High School. What year was that? 1968. And uh, you graduated from college? College? Yes. What school? Ohio University. When? 1980. Okay. And. Um, now you were you were in the service, weren't you? Yes, I was. What Air Force? Uh, I got drafted in the U.S. Army in 1969, October the uh, 9th, okay. 1969. Okay. And uh, where did you do your basic training? Fort Knox, Kentucky. Now, um, uh, did you stay in for a career, or what? How long were you in the service? Well, I did about two years in the Army. I got out. Two years later, October 8, 1971, and stayed away from the military for about four or five years. And then a friend of mine taught me going into the National Guard. Okay. So I went into the National Guard a little bit. Is that Army? Uh, yeah, Army National Guard. Army National Guard. And that was with the 216th down Portsmouth. Okay, that's a quartermaster outfit, I think it was. Uh, no, that was reserves. No, that was a reserve unit. Uh, so this was an engineer. engineer. Engineer, right. National Guard engineer. Okay. So I stayed with them probably about three years, but I just didn't care much for it. Mm -hmm. But I liked the military structure, and so a friend of mine said, "Well, let's jump over to the Air Force Reserve." Mm -hmm. 
because he had heard uh, some nice things about it and everything, so I jumped over there and ended up staying uh, about 22 years. So. When you got out, what was your rank? Tech Sergeant, uh, the Air Force Reserve Tech Sergeant, E-6. E-6, all right. Now, when you, you went in the Army, you were drafted, you said? Yes. Okay. And uh, you did your basic at Fort Knox? Yes. And then where did you do your AIT? I went to Fort Dix, New Jersey. Okay. And uh, what was your MOS over there? 63 Bravo, which was a wheel vehicle mechanic. Oh, you were a mechanic? Yeah. Okay. And uh, how long was your AIT in, in Fort Dix? Now, that's New Jersey. Isn't yes. It? Okay. Remember that? Yeah, it was uh, eight weeks, I believe, two months. Okay. Now, after that, where were you stationed? I ended up staying in Fort Dix. The whole two yes. years? Okay. For, for the remainder of my time. That was during Vietnam. You never went overseas. Yep. I, I never went overseas either. I was in from 67 to 69. I, I scratched my head as to why. Right. Why? I mean, why? We was just one. It was two lucky guys right here. <laughs> I guess so. And um, the whole thing at Fort, Fort Dix, you didn't go to Germany either, right? No. Okay. Um, you got out then two years later. Did, did you like that two years in the Army? What did you think? I about? almost stayed in. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know really know why I didn't because I was single. Mm -hmm. I had no children, no wife. Uh, I could pretty well do what I wanted to do and everything. But mm -hmm. uh, I had a job waiting on me when I got out, so I didn't have. Where to did you have a job waiting on you? FBI. Oh really? Federal Bureau of Investigation. Did you go into the? I had FBI? worked for FBI before I got drafted. I see. And. Uh, they promised me my job when I got out. Mm -hmm. so what I did you do for the FBI? Fingerprint technician. Oh, I see. Okay. How old were you when you were drafted? Nineteen. Um, while you were over at Fort Dix, then that would put you up um, close. I don't know how close. I'm not exactly sure. How, how close were you to New York? Uh, not, not very far because we had went to New York. Uh, in fact, I spent New Year's Eve in New York. Did you? Yeah, I've seen 19, uh, uh, 1971 coming in on Times Square. So, um, um, what does a young married enlisted army guy do when he goes on liberty? I can't, I <laughs> well, goes on leave. the married one, which I wasn't married, <laughs> married would have stayed back. <laughs> well, I said unmarried. <laughs> the unmarried un married, married ones. Of course, when you're 19 years old, you're allowed to get into anything. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, and, and New York was a good place to go then, was it? Yeah, we went there. Uh, actually, it was only, it was one time. Okay. And and when you got to leave otherwise, did you come home or what, what did you do? Uh, spent a little bit of time in Trent, New Jersey, because that wasn't far from Fort Dix. Okay. I remember going to... Uh, uh, Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing the ocean for the first time in my life mm -hmm. uh, off the New Jersey coast. Okay. So that was, different. was that when you were you were at that time a four wheel vehicle mechanic? Well, actually, I started out as a uh, well vehicle mechanic, but I soon became a, a clerk in an AIT unit. What did do you do as a clerk? Uh, administrative. A lot of typing. Okay. Uh, keeping the soldiers' records straight, record keeping, things like that. Did the mail. Uh, worked real closely with my first sergeant and the company commander of a AIT training okay. unit. In fact, it was Bravo uh, 3rd Battalion, 5th Brigade, Bravo 35. Okay, what was the AIT over there? Was it the, the mechanical school? Uh, yes. Okay. For, for the others, that is mechanical right. school. Okay. Well, now, uh, you were a couple years there and got out and stayed away from the Army and went into the National Guard. Right. What was your MOS in the National Guard? That's the Army National Guard. What was your MOS there? I had to go to Fort Sam Uses to be a medic. Right. Okay. Be a medic. Okay. So they made you a medic. Huh? Yes. Looks, looks like they might have kept you as your uh, mechanic MOS. I mean, they had vehicles in that unit, engineering. And things, stuff like that. But um, did you like Fort Sam Houston? That's San Antonio. First time I was ever out, out 
that further west. Really? Yeah, it's different, yeah. Okay. It's hot. Hot. Okay. Good training, though. Uh, so then you came back, were you the company uh, medic then, or what? I was, we had, it was an attachment, we had a medic. Mm -hmm. uh, the medics were attached to the 216th. In fact, we were, mm -hmm. we were up in Ironton, Ohio, oh, at their right. armory up there. Now, at that time, then, uh, would you have also been working at the prison at that time? Yes. Okay. And um, uh, where would you go for your annual training? Places like that? Camp Perry? <coughs> well, in, in the Army, I went, to, yeah, I went to Camp Perry. Mm -hmm. uh, I think probably twice. Okay. And I had one going to Camp Grayling, but that's when I went to Fort Sam Houston, so I was kind of glad that I didn't have to. How long were you in the National Guard? About three years. Probably two to three years. Then when did you jump over to the Air Force? Uh, probably, well, I, I wasn't very contented with the 216th. Uh, in fact, it lacked the organization that, 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 I, that I needed in a military mm -hmm. outfit. That was one of the reasons that I went to the Air Force. Uh, to answer your question, probably about, I took a break from the 216 probably for about eight months, mm -hmm. eight to twelve months, okay. about eight months. Okay. Then when you went into the Air Force, what was your unit, the designation of? Uh, boy. It was a, uh, a service unit. Okay. Um, what did you do? Uh, we did everything from uh, billeting, cooking, mortuary affairs, mm -hmm. uh, those three things in particular. Now that's the Air Force Reserve, right? Right. <clears throat> and um, where would you travel? I mean, what, what, where did you go for your annual training there? And what kind of thing did you do? <clears throat> that's where I did all my traveling. That's when I actually see in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, Air Force Reserve, you know, they treated, treated you real good. They, their, basic, their basic thing was morale. Mm -hmm. And such places I went during my years with the Air Force Reserve. I'd been to Germany twice. I'd been to England once. I'd been to Italy twice. I'd been to Spain, been to Panama. Uh, Antigua, mm -hmm. a couple countries over in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. okay. So, well, I think you moved around. It, yeah, yeah I, I definitely see. I've seen more than what uh, most people would ever ever see in their life. Um, uh, when did you retire out of the Air Force? Uh, I bet it, it'll be uh, two years. Oh, ago. just two years ago. Yep. Okay. Oh, well, did, were you in the Kuwait, the Desert no, Storm? Uh, right? I was, let's see, I was in Desert Shield, mm -hmm. and that was a preparation. Mm -hmm. I ended up over there in Westover, Massachusetts for about two months. Mm -hmm. What did you do there? Uh, <clears throat> cooking, worked in okay. the kitchen. And um, then after two months, did, what happened then? Uh, they said, went ahead and sent us back home. Okay. Yeah. Um, so only two years ago you, you got out then. Okay. Um, do do you um, keep in touch with any of the friends that you made? In? Some of them, Some yes. Of them? Particularly okay. the ones in uh, Air Force mm -hmm. Reserve. Yeah. Okay. One of my favorite friends, Bob Bowman. Bob, yeah, he's yeah. a local guy. Yeah. <laughs> but him and I did. Him and I actually did our our stay together in the Air Force did and you? the National Guard. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah he was in the Army. I I got him on there yeah. somewhere. He was in the Marine Corps. Marine Corps? Yeah. I thought he was in the Army. Okay. But he was with the 216. That's how I ended up meeting him. <laughs> He's a wild guy. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you have anything else you'd like to say, Al? Uh, do you have any tattoos you want to talk about or anything? Nah, I don't want to tattoos. But I do want to show this. this oh, yeah. Up. I definitely have it right there in front of us. Okay. Uh, Hold that up like that. 
Now, is that Air Force or Army? That, that is Army. Army. That was taken <laughs> in October 1969, and I call this picture that it was actually the day that Al, Al Chap became a man because... What happened then? The military, you either going to grow up or young, or they're going to make you grow up. Yeah. And at 19 years old, and being drafted, and somebody that uh, would go to the military, but they had to had to come and get her. <laughs> uh, okay, good. I have to say one thing before we close. The best, military is probably one of the best things that ever happened to me. Really? Why do you say that? The way I grew up, I learned responsibility and everything. Mm -hmm. 19 years old, back in, you could care less about it. But you were working for the FBI then? Yeah, but I was, I was at a standstill that uh, I wasn't that pleased with you know, with the job. I wasn't one of those people at my team that would go out and get in trouble mm -hmm. or end up in a penitentiary or anything like that, but 19 years old, you just, your thoughts are a lot more different than, mm -hmm. than uh, they're, well, not developed more like a man, like, like mm -hmm. you would think. Okay. Okay. And the military instilled that in me as far as I did things in the military that you never even thought that you could even do, but mm -hmm. you did. Do you still have your uniform? Uh, not my army uniform, no. Okay. You, you have your airport shoes. Can you get in? Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you were in the service. Did Did you ever see anyone famous, like famous generals? Or? Uh. No, but uh, with the FBI, I'll tell you a little story. About okay. That. Great. Uh. I knew I was getting drafted in 1969. I worked for the Bureau of the Identification Division. And I asked this special agent, I said, what's the chances, if I had a request, what's the chances of me meeting Jay Edgar Hoover? Because <laughs> I, I always kind of idolized that guy. Mm -hmm. So he, he pulled some strings and everything like that and set up something. There was real strict certain guidelines that I had to follow, mm -hmm. and I had to have a white shirt on, black tie, <laughs> black pair of pants, and uh, he said, don't you be asking him any questions. If he wants you to talk, he'll let you talk. So they took me up to the Justice Department and uh, opened the door and introduced me to Jack Hoover. I shook, shook his hand, and he wished me the very best. That, about going into the military and everything like that, and I said, "Thank you, sir." And that was it. That <laughs> was a, it was a real highlight. Oh, uh, bet. Did you get a picture? Well, they didn't no, take a picture. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you met Jay Okay. Well, thanks. A